and let's just have an amazing day today sit back relax and just escape whatever's going on and just enjoy this video it's gonna be a fun one G'day and welcome back. Today we're going to be exploring the popular Da Nang. Stick around as we see the top attractions to do in this wonderful city. Yeah, good morning. So our hotel's flooding from the very top. Looks like the water main burst or something. All the staff are running around like crazy. Oh my gosh. Welcome to Vietnam. So today we're doing a tour of Da Nang. So I'm going to be showing you some of the most popular attractions here. So we're currently at Marble Mountain, so let's go check it out. So when you get to Marble Mountain, there's two different ways you can go. One is the stairs, which is free, and then the other one is the elevator, which is 40,000 dong. You know me, being on a budget, I like free, and I haven't done any exercise this morning, so the stairs it is. I don't know how too impressed Jay is, <laughs> but um, yeah, we're starting this day with an adventure. So today we're going to Marble Mountain, we're going to uh, the Golden Bridge, and we're also going to a Buddha and Sky Mountain as well. So I'll take you guys along with me, and let's just have an amazing day today. Sit back, relax, and just escape whatever's going on, and just enjoy this video. It's going to be a fun one. So we're here, um, those stairs took us maybe two minutes, <laughs> so I think the elevator is a little bit of a money grab gimmick, but if you come here just take the stairs you'll be fine. So along with the Buddha they also have a lovely nice old Taiwanese temple. This temple smells a lot like incense. Yeah, so they have a Taiwanese temple and they also have the statue of Kuan Yin, which is a, uh, a Buddhist figure as well. So yeah, three, three different um, statues and religious elements on this level of Marble Mountain. Okay, so I was just saying to Jay, do you want to go up to the next level, the next lot of stairs? And he said, I think the cave's behind the uh, Taiwanese building. <laughs> it was so hidden, so we're just walking up through into the cave now. Let's check this out. been into a temple like this before where it's been in a cave this is something really special and it's very cool here like you can really feel a sense of peace and it, there's a lot of incense burning as well but um yeah I hope I can represent in this video how peaceful this is because this is something that's really magical doesn't this just blow your mind the light shining through playing chess Oh my gosh, this is probably one of the most beautiful things I've seen this week, to be honest with you. Holy, wow. Wow. 
So you can see this Buddha here behind me was actually physically carved out of these rocks in this cave. And you can see that for a fact because the same, the same colours in the rock is the same colours as, as the Buddha. I'll double confirm this here on the footage now, but that's something amazing and that would have taken a lot of time, especially with not modern day machinery. Some of these statues and relics and everything that we're seeing on this trip, it, it just it just blows your mind. Like they're in the one of the most beautiful spots, and the time it takes to 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 make to make all of this, it's something that's really special, and that's something that I love about the the, the Buddhist religion and the Buddhist way of life is. They don't mind how long something takes to create something this beautiful and, and to come in a beautiful place for, for, for prayer and, and for worship. It's, 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 it's really, really fascinating and I love seeing it. When you come to the top, not only do you get to see this Chinese stupa, but you also get an amazing view of Da Nang. The beaches and today is the clearest day. So this is something I really recommend. Even if you're not that much into temples, it's still so beautiful just to be up in the nature and see an amazing view of the beach and just be in a peaceful place. So we're now at the Golden Bridge, and I have no idea, but there's a like there's a massive, big like amusement park all built around this, but it doesn't feel touristy. I'm not too sure what to expect, but I just bought our ticket, and it was 45 Australian dollars, so that's about um, 32 US dollars. A little bit more on the expensive side, but that includes two cable cart rides and also a buffet lunch. Yeah, so this here is what I'm talking about. There's like a whole massive castle and everything built in the mountains with cable carts and rides and everything all throughout. So, I mean, for the price we paid, even though it's a little bit on the expensive side, I think it's going to be worth it. Normally a massive queue here, but... Not for us, this is what you get traveling in COVID times. Straight red carpet access onto the cable cards. Oh, wow. I had no idea, but there's a whole entire lake down here. A river, sorry. Wow. Man, this is one beautiful part of Vietnam. Look, you can even see this little lagoon down here as well. I'm sure that the water's probably really cold, but it'd be nice to go in actually. It's quite a hot day. Dude, this is sick. So a quick side note, we've noticed that there's vomit bags over there, which is quite strange. I don't know how anyone could get sick on this ride. It just goes up and then down but you can see here they also have um, drains to to hose it out if any of that happens so it might be a common thing but I'm not feeling sick at all if anything your ears just go a little bit funny because you're going up and up so we are well and truly up in the clouds right now it makes me wonder though for the Golden Bridge, are we going to have a good view or are we just going to be in the clouds? Or is being in the clouds going to be a really cinematic way to take video of being in the Golden Bridge? So we'll soon find that out in a second. So we're at the Golden Bridge. First impressions, wow. These hands are a lot bigger than what I thought, but there's only two. I actually thought that there was more hands and the bridge was a lot bigger, but who's complaining? This, this bridge is awesome. 
and as you can see behind me we're up in the clouds so it sort of feels like heaven you know like they have massive hands holding up the bridge and you got the you've got the stone and the rocks as well so it looks like that the hands carved out of the rocks So as you can tell, it's a very popular spot for Instagram photos. And that reminds me, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me here. I post content daily on my story, so you can keep up to date where I am in real time, rather than having to wait for the videos, because sometimes they take a bit of a while to edit. But yeah, give me a follow. Getting lunch now, Jay and I are very hungry, so we're gonna get lunch. There's a buffet lunch, which is awesome. So we're gonna dig into that. We got some Sichuan uh, mapo tofu here. Three layer base pork, three good. Some uh, uh, bok choy. Uh, this is what we call fish cake. All right, and I'm kind of missing Thailand, right? So I got some pad thai here as well. I uh, miss the country. Um, some cashew, barbecue pork. Um, this is interesting, yeah? Um, it's grilled chicken with five spice. Uh, I don't know how that tastes though. There we oh yeah, we got some Vietnamese uh, skewers. Some capsicum, um, ham. Yeah, oh, this is the good part. Seafood curry. Uh, yellow fragrant rice and Vietnamese pancake. Right here, Vietnamese pancake. I got the last one. So yeah. Sushi? Yeah, just, yeah, sushi is regular sushi. Uh, they say it's caviar. I don't think that's caviar. <laughs> This place almost has like a old Harry Potter type vibe to it. Like the, the castle or the church, sorry, coming up now, sort of reminds me of the Harry Potter movies. Yeah. It's really, really cool. It's amazing how they designed this. Like this would have taken so much planning and to source all the materials and everything. Um, so I just got a message from Jack that the fog is really, um, it's really thick right now, I don't know if you guys can see, I'll just roll it over here. Jack is stuck there. Right? So the fog's really thick, he can't go. Uh, so we'll see what's up. I can check out this guy. So, I was just telling them, you couldn't get on the coaster due to the fog's too bad. I couldn't get on the coaster, and then I got out, and I went, I wasn't allowed to go the normal way. I went this weird ass way, all through this amusement things. People wanted me to buy stuff. I couldn't find my way out. I went into an exit, which I thought was an exit, but it was a Jurassic Park world, and I was going through the wrong way. Everyone was yelling at me, and then I finally FaceTimed Jay, and now we're here. So now we're at mm. Okay, so now we're at Nemo Saima Moody Buddha. I'm just reading that off here. Forgive me. Um, yeah, the ride here from the Golden Bridge wasn't actually too bad. It was only about 20 minutes. So there's two main attractions here, one the standing Buddha and the Chinese stupa. So we'll take you guys around and let's have a look. So we'll go around this and let's see what we can find.
honestly, words cannot describe how big this statue is. Like, I am flabbergasted for words. Like, I thought it was going to be big, but not this big. Wow. And online it says that people believe that this Buddha looks over the entire town and protects it, which makes sense because pretty much 95% of the places that we've been in Da Nang, you can actually see this statue. <laughs> These temples have the funniest things. A cow with a tree on the top of it. Why not? <laughs> Believe it or not, this place is actually free to enter. And it's quite the same for a lot of temples in Vietnam, we're noticing. Like, all of them are free to enter. Sure, there's donation boxes around, but in Thailand, we paid for all of the temples, pretty much, that we went into. Unless it was a really local temple. So that's a really nice touch. I, I do like that. It's really a welcoming, welcoming way into Buddhism, if that's something that you're interested in, in exploring yourself, you know? Especially if you're... If you're wanting to, you know, even practice the religion, like you don't want to go to a temple and pay if you're trying to practice the religion, you know. So yeah, I, th I think that's a really good, really good thing. Good job, Vietnam. Hey guys, so that wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. So I hope you enjoyed this province of Da Nang. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, keep it real.